What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. My name is Splattercat, happy to have you here today as we check out some more Warhammer 40k Inquisitor Martyr. I am an Imperial Psyker and I am on a mission. I will find those that have corrupted and tainted this place and I shall lay them low. Oh no, Nerglings. Hold on, we got Nerglings everywhere. We have a serious Nergling problem. So Nerglings, there's a bunch of gods of chaos. There's Zinch, there's Nurgle, there's Slanesh. And anyways, they all have like their own little buddies that they summon to kind of mess with you. Nurglings are basically the lowest level unit of the Nurgle Chaos Army. Each one of these things is basically like an elemental of like Syphilis. That's all you need to know is they're super dirty and disgusting. Like if you threw a vial of antibiotics on these things, they would hiss, recoil, and bubble, and fall apart, and it would be disgusting. It would be brutal. You don't want to be touched by one of these things. That's how you lose a hand that just, like, rots off to chaos. It's not a good plan. It's a bad idea. Don't do it. I'm going to check all these little side streets. I feel like there's going to be something good around here somewhere. Like, there better be something good around here. I'm trying to get me some new Imperial implements, okay? I'm trying to get kitted out right now. What do we have over here? Ooh, there's a, yeah, a walkway. Go this way. This looks good. What's the worst that could happen on this side? Yeah, there's a treasure chest over here. Let's have that. A scythe for sword. Ooh. And some Caligari credits. Nice. How do I equip the how do I equip the four sword? How do I make that happen? I want to equip my four sword here. I've got I have a four sword and now I want it. I want it on me. Maybe you can only equip in between missions, possibly. I don't know. I didn't work. What about G for gear? No? Didn't work either. Oh, we found a dead guy. Let's go look at the dead guy and see if he's got anything important to say. Wah, wah, I doubt it. Sigma, this is Chaos Thorn speaking. Team Sigma, come in. I'm afraid Team Sigma won't be responding anytime soon. What? Who are you, and what are you doing there? Taking a stroll on the decks by the Emperor? Mind your manners. I'm an Inquisitor, and I don't tolerate... An Inquisitor? About bloody time. I thought your lot had followed Lord Klosterheim into the Dark Zone. Listen, we're under heavy attack in the control room, so I'd appreciate it if you could join us while we deliver the Emperor's will until our most triumphant death, thawed out. New yeah. Lord, I established connection with someone from an Imperial expedition on the ship, but he is clearly confusing me with someone else. Inquisitors don't take orders from Space Marines. This should more or less get very interesting very rapidly. Space Marines and the Inquisition do not have a good relationship. Oh, nice. So there you go. We got plus 600 rank points. We are now a rank 2 Inquisitor. We've got some kind of little box thing right here that we can open. It appears to have given us access to a bunch of maybe newbie loot. We got some Signums over here. Critical chance, chaos demon damage, warp heat, deflection chance against ranged attack. We've got the Kashi Force Shield. Has suppression damage, 3 HP per hit, critical damage strength. Okay. We've got Caligari credits. We also have a Psychic Focus that increases the damage we deal per hit. We've also got extra physical damage on that one in HP. And then we've got a Thule Sci or a Thule style force staff, which apparently gives us way more crit chance and a bunch of damage to our pyromancy and more suppression damage. Okay. All right. I'm down with it. Uh, over here, we've been given some rewards as well. We've got a plasma pistol. We've got a psyker skill called Crush, a long-range single-target attack that deals warp damage. Uh, the Crush skill in the universe of Warhammer 40k is basically you throwing an object at somebody. Actually, it might not be. There's two abilities, and I forget. One of them's called Crush, and one of them's called something else. But in Dark Heresy... One of them makes it so that you pick up a large object with psychic power and throw it at somebody. And the other one means that you're actually, like, crushing them with psychic force. So it's like a force choke, but not just on their neck. It's on, like, their entire body, basically. Alright. Uh, yeah, let me manage some equipment over here. I feel like we've got some new goodies, and I want to equip them. So we've got some signums over here. We will be equipping that, so there we go. We've got a purity seal right there, which we can equip, which I think is probably better than our old purity seal. 
Oh, we can go with a four sword. Does that give me any abilities right there? It's an exotic weapon, huh? I mean, that gives us critical hit strength. I think this one's probably statistically the best. I don't know if we want to run that or not, because now we can't run a gun. I do like guns, so that kind of concerns me. What else do we have? We have a gift from the Ecclesiarchy. Yeah, go ahead and open that on up. We'll see what's inside of there, too. Probably some more newbie gear. Oh, really? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, those are... A bit better than what we had going on. Alright. Sure. Absolutely. I want the four sword. Let's have the four... Yeah, bring me... Where's my four sword at? Oh, it's in my hand right there. There we go. So we have a four sword. It's a remarkably rare... It's a very, very rare weapon in the universe of Warhammer 40k. Finding a four sword is kind of like... Oof, that's like ancient forbidden technology basically for the average layman. It really wants me to use this rod right here. So that's what I'm going to do, I guess. So we've got a four sword and we've got the rod. Can I put the... Can I drag and drop this maybe to make this simpler? So we've got the force rod. I do want to have the gun. So there we go. We've got the right hand with our gun and then we've got our force rod right there. Who knows what abilities that's going to allow us to use. But hey, everything's a come up. We've also got frag grenades, I guess. I'll throw those on... Oh, you got to choose between the psychic focus. Okay, so you can have like a stat stick instead of having like a supplementary item. Gotcha. We can go range combat or single DPS or psychic combat or movement. What does that do? Suppression stimulus. It gives us a, sus a suppression per hit psychic mastery. Okay. This right here gives us a bonus damage to our range skills. Okay. So basically, we've got a bunch of different schools where we can add things in. Alright. Uh, I'll probably just go with range damage for now. Damage is damage. The Forbidden Cult awaits, everybody. Do I... So how do I tell what abilities I have? It's a, val it's a valid question. I want to know, like... How do I... How do I tell what abilities are on my bar? So we've got Blood Driven. 20 improvement speed for every kill for 5 seconds. Oh, that's kind of nice. Okay, I can live with that. It looks like we also get attribute points up in here. So the game's got a different system than what I was expecting. It takes some getting used to. Let's go track down the Forbidden Cult and see if we can spill blood in the name of the Emperor Brothers. It's gone again. Another wave of filth is on its way to face me in a glorious carnage. I want your help as soon as possible. Careful, Thor. That was dangerously close to insults, and you are definitely confusing me with someone else. You are an Inquisitor, which is enough for me right now. The whole deck is swarming with the local mongrel tribes, and they've sent their champions to rally the troops. I need you to eliminate these creatures. It will slow down the tribes. Yeah, as you can see, so everybody else in the universe is terrified of an Inquisitor. Because an Inquisitor has the power to exterminate your entire planet if he sees fit. So you're heading to the control room to disable the jammer? That's the plan, yes. And who is this Caius Thorn exactly? Quite a character. Otherwise, I have no idea. He seems to think that I'm a member of his mysterious expedition. If there is an expedition... They might be trapped in that monastery, just like you. Why do you think so? I made a scan. That giant wreckage looks completely dead from here. No sign of any other Voidcraft in the vicinity. And being that Inquisitors have that power to essentially exterminate entire systems if they want to, most people just stay the hell away from them, because being in contact with an Inquisitor never means anything good for the layman. Like, if you're an average guy in the Warhammer 40k universe, an Inquisitor showing up is probably one of the worst things that's ever happened to you. It means bad things are happening to your planet, and it's probably gonna get worse. Space Marines, on the other hand, aren't gonna snitch out their own members to the Inquisition, so they really don't care if they're on good terms with the Inquisition, because they have the power and the force to sort of resist that. 
The Inquisition and the Space Marines kind of tiptoe around each other very, very carefully in order to avoid, like, interstellar incidents. Apparently that's going to stop me from running. Oh my god, there is so much booger fluid everywhere. I'm going to need you guys to quit it. I'm going to need you guys to quit it. Yeah, shoot him with like a flame bolt. That looks good. Is there anything laying around that I can loot? I'm just saying, what kind of action RPG player would I be if I wasn't actively looking for new upgrades at every given moment? That's what you get, man. You better back up off me. I've always felt like you could make a really, really good action RPG in the Warhammer Fantasy Battle universe. Like, it's always surprised me that that game has never been made, because you could... I wonder if these mongrel tribes are the descendants of the original inhabitants. I guess I'll know more soon. I've, I've always wondered why that game has not been made, because that could easily rival the lore systems of Path of Exile, or Diablo, or any of the other major action RPGs. They just need to put, like, the time and the effort into it. And, like, a Warhammer Fantasy Battle ARPG would be the jam. That would be the stuff right there, especially since the art style of that universe is just so incredible. I also think kind of the Germanic bent would interest a lot of people. How everybody is named, like, Clusterheim and Waffenheim and everything else like that. Waffleheimer. What is this thing? This is the thrice-blessed fortress monastery martyr, category A3 research vessel of the Holy Ordos under the leadership of Lord Inquisitor Uther Tiberius. We seek aid from the brothers and sisters of the Adeptus Mechanicus. The martyr is on a highly important research pilgrimage from the Segmentum Pacificus to the Sigil subsector, en route to the Caligari sector. The martyr was caught in a severe warp anomaly and the Geller Shield has suffered considerable damage. We need an emergency overhaul in the orbital dry docks of Kashi Prime as soon as possible. May the Emperor be with you. Yeah, so they were flying on limited time if the Geller Shields were down. Like I explained earlier in the previous episode, if the Geller Shields go down, it's basically a death sentence if you attempt warp travel. Attempting warp travel with no Geller Shield is suicide. It's like sticking a gun to your head and just like killing yourself. But instead of killing yourself, when you stick the gun to your head, you're possessed by a demon that makes you consume the rest of the crew and their bodies while ejecting flame from your eyes in a horrible, painful display of demonic corruption. It's not a good thing. You really, really, really don't want to warp travel without a Geller shield. It's a bad plan. In fact, during warp travel, all of the windows on ships will seal. And so you have a Geller shield, which is kind of like a normal energy shield that's around the ship. It's kind of an envelope. But during warp travel, every single ship, what it has is it'll have bulkheads that recede over the windows. Because a human mind looking out on the warp will instantly go insane. And so you, you can't even, like, look out the windows while you're warp traveling. Otherwise, it can get in that way by infecting a human mind. It's, it's bad. It's real, real bad. I don't know what this does, but I'm going to do it anyways. A plague augurin. Okay. Oh, that seemed like it hurt. That seemed pretty deeply unpleasant. Oh, there's two big guys in here. Okay. I don't believe in cover. Cover is for the weak and timid. We, the great emperor's chosen, do not run from threats. We stand and fight them in the field of conflict like manly men. Not like some filthy towel. We have no need for the maneuvers. We have no need for tactics. There is only war. Thornier, how are you faring, Inquisitor? Considering that I'm alone, I'd say I'm making adequate progress. Alone? Where's the rest of your detachment? Under some smoldering wreckage. Well, that's unlucky. But that's all the more demons for us to kill. Let us rejoice in the furious challenge. Thorn out. As you can tell, space, me space marines are a little bit crazy, but they also have the weight to back it up. Then again, like a nine foot tall, 400 pound man in power armor that has like multiples of every single organ and who has a gland in his mouth that spits acid, you know, is actually one of the less terrifying things in the universe of Warhammer 40k. Also one of the less threatening things if you compare him to some of the stuff that like Tyranids are able to bring out or Chaos is able to bring out. 
More nerglings. I appreciate the fact that the nerglings instantaneously explode when I shoot them. Oh, that's not good. I feel like we have like a real lack of AoE ability. Death is a journey. Is that like the Warhammer 40k version of Life as a Highway? Death is a journey. I'm gonna cleanse them all day long. Bow, 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 bow. Emperor is with me. I'm done shooting for right now. Do, 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 do. We don't need cover. Cover is for the weak, timid, and terrified. How will the enemies of the light understand that we are truly their enemies if we take cover behind bulkheads, brothers? How will they know? We must stand and show them our face that they might properly fear us. This guy's behind cover. I gotta get an angle. Alright, so... This nurgling nonsense needs to stop. There are entirely too many nurglings out here. I'm also going to kill you real fast. How about that? It looks like I've got an opening right now to kill this dude. Okay, or at least deal a little bit more damage. Yeah, just keep firing. Just keep shooting. I mean, on the plus side, he keeps blessing me with kill streaks. So that makes things a little easier. Chaos has retreated from my door. Regrouping, I'd say. I take it you killed the tribal champions. Yes, I purged the place. How ambitious. I like that. But believe me, there is still much work to be done. You'll find a desecrated shrine next door that leads to the control room. Go there. Already there, baby bubba. Already there. Doing my dirt. Eliminating some enemies. Reloading my pistol. Maybe I should set up all my alternate gear sets too so that maybe I can have some kind of like AoE. I think that might be a good idea. Maybe I'll equip the plasma pistol and like a four sword on one of the other profiles. I've reached the end of this subdeck. Good. There is the exit. Some of my men will meet you on the other side. But plenty of them have been captured. I'll need your help to set them free. The unfortunate truth of this situation is that any guardsman that was captured by the forces of chaos would be promptly ex executed the second he was rescued. The people in Warhammer 40k are very, very paranoid about the taint of chaos and people being corrupted, and the fact that you were captured by some of the most evil things in the universe just automatically makes you suspect enough to be executed on sight. So I doubt those guardsmen would actively make it. Kill 250 enemies with a medium ranged weapon. We got close quarters gunnery. Oh, nice. We get plus 25 range damage against target inside of medium range. Hell yeah. That's pretty rad. I like how there's little perks that unlock as you do like little achievements and things. That's pretty sweet. I can feel that. Uh, do we have anything that's like better than what we have going on? It keeps trying to tell me this Mars warp war like warp rod is better, but so we've got a neural implant right there. I guess we'll do it. We've got ourselves a purity seal right there. We'll take that as well. Anything else laying around in the pile? We've got a signum that apparently is slightly better than what we have going on. Alright. Uh, do I have my alternate set over here? Yeah, let's set up the alternate set. So we've got a bolt pistol. That's the same thing that we had. So we should probably just swap that out on set number one. Set number two. Let's try something a little bit different. We're going to go with a epic force sword on this side and just kind of see how that changes up all of our random abilities. Yeah, and since on this side we're not really running anything, I'm gonna run frag grenades because we need some kind of AOE like we just do. There's no way around that. We've got too much single target right now and I think that it's making things unnecessarily difficult. Uh, let's go for the feral tribes, I guess. Off we go. This is just the calm before the storm. Take advantage of the respite before the wretches return. At least, I can send you some reinforcements. The hostiles are keeping some of my scouts caged up in the desecrated sanctum. Free the guardsmen, and bring them to the control room. Reporting for duty, Inquisitor. Ready so, Imperial Guardsmen. Where to even begin with Imperial Guardsmen? 
These are just normal guys that were conscripted from the nearest local planetary defense force. That's pretty much it. These are normal human beings with no special abilities. They've got a laser rifle that compared to modern weaponry, like in our world, is like crazy powerful. It basically makes you, if it hits you, it basically makes you pop like a little blood that bubble. Most remarkable. Uh, new log entry. This sanctum gives me the shivers. The iconography is clearly imperial in origin, and it points to an ancient sect. Uh, but the details of these statues look strange to So compared to our modern weaponry, this LAS rifle right here is like the stuff, this LAS gun. But in the greater scheme of things in the universe, it's actually pretty weak, which has led to a lot of people in the Warhammer 40k universe referring to these as flashlights, because that's about as much damage as they're going to do against the bigger targets. They are going to be completely and utterly useless against anything that's armored or bigger than you. It's just humanity is really, really outmatched in the Warhammer 40k universe. They just are. They just don't have the oomph to fight back against a lot of the enemies that await in the darkness. I need to modify my early estimate of the age of this magnificent ship. Pre-Thorian symbolism and the content of the prayer book indicate ancient heritage sometime between the 35th and the 36th millennium. The potential connection to the age of apostasy indicates fascinating prospects. I must admit that some of our discoveries are unique, especially the pieces directly connected to Uther Tiberius and his sect. The adornments on the other elements are clearly imperial in origin on the ship, but the details like the winged statues all suggest a cult that used to be imperial, but which has been lost or subsequently purged from the archives. The techno-archaeologists were baffled by the first radium carbon results. This may be a rather bold statement since he lacks facial features, emotions, and a soul, but he looked almost shocked. Damn his inconclusive results. He tried to argue about the age of the Emperor Forsaken Derelict, but I'm certain about my analysis. A bit troubled. The mural about the Scarlet Apotheosis and the Empyrean Beyond was unsettling, to say the least. The Angel of Death growing more grim with each passing hour. May the Emperor have mercy on our souls. So yeah, Inquisitors are largely divided into two different groups. Uh, conservative and Radical. Uh, radical might make it sound like they're bad guys, but most Radical Inquisitors still more or less serve the Emperor loyally and actually believe in human supremacy throughout the galaxy. But basically, Conservative Inquisitors are going to react to anything foreign and anything non-human by saying that we should burn it, kill it, purge it, get rid of it. Whereas Radical Inquisitors tend to be the guys that are like, hey, we found this alien artifact. How can we convert this, you know, Tau engine into an engine that the Imperium can use for the war effort? That tends to be the difference between Radical and Conservative Inquisitors. And conservative Inquisitors tend to go over the top and kill people that they don't need to. Radical Inquisitors tend to fall to chaos. Uh, that's pretty much the two, the two distinctions. If you are a, a loyalist, essentially, Inquisitor, who never wants to touch anything that isn't human in origin, uh, you tend to kind of throw the baby out with the bathwater when it comes to, like, cleansing the galaxy. We don't have much time, Inquisitor. Hurry up and take as many guardsmen with you as you can. Alternatively, if you're a radical inquisitor, there's a pretty good pl there's a pretty good chance that eventually you're gonna find some kind of artifact, do too many experiments on it, fall to chaos, and go insane. So you know, one way or the other, you either you know live long enough to die a hero or survive to see yourself become the villain. Pretty much every time. Did you kill all my guardsmen? Don't kill my guardsmen, man. They're just normal guys. These are just dudes that are trying to provide for their families out here. Be chill. I can throw grenades too, asshole. I can throw grenades too. What you think this is? You think this is a game? Are you guys even helping back there? Yeah, they are. They're doing a little bit of damage. They're trying. How hard they're trying, I can't tell. But there you go. We got a few more guardsmen. Yeah, you guys go grab some guns or something. Yeah, gear up. It's time for us to do our thing. Oh, I like how they put a little pile of las guns right there so that it made sense when your little guardsmen are re-equipping themselves. We have medical supplies over here and what looks like a med bay. Okay. I don't know if we need the inoculator charges. We haven't really been taking any damage anyways. We've been sort of like breezing through this without any major issues. 
Let's go find a few more guardsmen to add to our little regiment here. We've almost got like a full point spread of guardsmen. Just a few more. Oh, you guys messed up now. Aw, oh, my grenade point blank that guy. Man, weak. I don't know what this does, but I'm going to use it. Yeah, I'll throw a grenade out there. Another last pistol. That's pretty sweet. Oh, yeah. What happened with our force sword over here? So we've got a short burst. We've got a force strike. We've got misfortune. I think we have misfortune no matter what. Thank you, the Alkilmans are banging their war drums, calling up the filth of chaos from the caverns of the ship. If you want to know what a real battle looks like, I suggest you join me as soon as you can. All right. Let's go. I just got more hand grenades. I'm totally down with hanging out. Is this door going to open or do I have to go somewhere else? I got to go up here. Okay. So let's go around the horn real fast. Effective travel is not on the docket for the moment. We got to get on out here and do our thing. I kind of wish we had more like armor things to equip. Like the weapons and everything are cool. But I'm interested in all the imperial raiments that I can wear all over my body. Bye. Bye. Ah, more nerglings. I'm gonna help out over here. We've got a little bit of a masked fire right now. Our guardsmen are doing okay. I'm proud of you guys. You guys are doing good. What is this? Purity seal, four staff, whole bunch of other stuff. Okay. I assume I'm going to get to spend these credits at some point in some in some kind of imperial store, but I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. Keep on trucking, G. Inquisitor, our Argus are starting to pick up huge waves of hostiles approaching your position. Can you hold them off on your own? You are addressing a servant of the Imperium who must be watchful all the time, lest corruption consumes his soul. I'm quite <laughs> resilient. So what is your plan? Yes, yes, the power we draw upon takes so many shapes and forms. Hmm, a touch of righteous violence, maybe. Or perhaps something more refined. I think I'll improvise. I'll have the transport ship ready, just in case. Well, there you go. Uh, my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me for an episode of Warhammer 40k, Inquisitor Martyr. I will see you all later. If you wanted to see some more of this little video series, all you got to do is like the video. Helps me figure out who's in tune with it and who's, like, excited about it. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile every single day in the world of indie games so that you don't have to. I'll see you all next time. Thank you for stopping on in, and take care, everybody.